Hey, welcome back everybody. This is Shino. And believe it or not, this is episode 50 of our Let's Play series, season 2. Wow! I can't believe. I've gotten through 50 videos on this series and I like the I like how things are going. So we're gonna do a little different um, than what I said we were gonna do. Last episode we finished up the, the Meteoric Iron Chain Armor. And I said we we're going to start getting together the, the iron and everything for the plate armor. And that we were going to need to work on the factory floor, get a roof on it and all that, and start gathering up resources. And I did. I gathered up a bunch of resources. Um, I've been firing bricks like a crazy person. And uh, I think I've still got some going down here. Yeah, go get them. And so much so that I have run out of peat. And hay that I had, I've still got plenty of sticks, and uh, I still have a lot of hay to go. I mean, a lot of um, uh, clay to go through. So anyway, um, here's what happened. I have upgraded to version one fifteen ten, and I think I mentioned this a while back. And I upgraded. Uh, I forgot to upgrade the workbench expansion mod, and I haven't used the workbench in a while. So I didn't think anything about it. Um, there is currently a uh, a crash um, that occurs with 115.10 and the Workbench Expansion Mod version 132 or 3, yeah, 132 or 312. Um, anyways, uh, what happens is when you, uh, from what I can tell from Ronan, as soon as you put in the... Um, a chisel back in there it starts going through this um, repeating a slot um, for handling and it runs out of space and just crashes the system um, so if you're using workbook expansion mod and you're on 11510 uh, be aware that you're gonna have a bug on that um, so what that means is I was um, set up to make copies of um, all the chisel pieces that I had um, for here so I went and I got one of the pieces out and uh, uh, I can't copy those pieces right now so I'm going to put these all back for now and um, then we'll work on um, we'll work on another project so let's see this one is there I think that one is there yeah and this one is here got one more and that one goes there okay so unfortunately um, that's going to hamper uh, us being able to get that done and look at how deep the snow is getting oh, that's awesome so here's what we're going to do instead I'm going to do the normal uh, kind of I got to get this back up and going and we're just going to do the normal kind of um, getting things situated and then I'm going to we're gonna do a quick tour of the base here in the middle of winter um, we're gonna kinda of walk around and look at some of our builds um, and talk about them and um, and then we'll um, we'll call the episode complete after that now I I thought about uh, working on this but I've got to go get um, more andesite I got to thinking about uh, where I'm at on this and I've, I'm still good on the oak, um, and this is all the andesite I have left, so I'm going to have to go get some andesite. So I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to make this a quick episode, um, and then I'm, I'm probably going to do a live stream uh, while I work on getting up andesite. Okay, so let me sleep through the night, and I'll get in position, and we'll come back, and we'll uh, do a base tour. Okay, all right, be back soon. All right, folks, I'm back. So... Um, but let's go ahead and start up here on top. If you'll remember when we started this series uh, 50 episodes ago, um, I think I started the view from up here, uh, looking around at everything. So I'm going to bring that picture back up um, and show you. So there you go. See, uh, that's what it looked like, and this is what it looks like now. 
And so, yeah, we've done a lot. You know, we started with our little uh, hidey hole uh, back over in this area. And then we slowly started kind of building and adding on and moving stuff around. We had the big church that was there. Um, and so things have been progressing. So we're going to go around and we're going to take a look at everything just one at a time. And, um, and then we'll see how far we've gotten. All right, let's get down here. So let's start over with the animal pens. I like the animal pen area because, um, primarily because just of the size of it. Now, originally we were going to have uh, three different pens set up here. Uh, one for cows, one for sheep, and one for pigs. Um, the cows were just, by the time I got everything kind of moved into here, uh, it was I was just kind of done with moving animals, so I ended up killing uh, the rest of the uh, the, the cows that we had and not moving them in but I would like to get some cows in here uh, future plan is this area out here is going to turn into um, a fruit orchard um, with the new version 116 being out um, we have fruit trees so I'm going to put a fruit orchard out here and an area for making um, the alcohol uh, from the fruit press so that's what's in plan for that um, for the animal pens up here on top, we've got this walkway area coming through um, and we put in access area so that we can get down to feed the animals without having to get in there. Um, normally I don't have to do that. Usually I can just feed them from, from up on top of the fence. So that's the animal pen. Um, looks like I need to go through and just put some finishing touches on this um, just to, to close this off. I think that would look nice. And then our hay bales. Uh, we've been stacking up hay and storing hay um, since the beginning. And that's something I mentioned right off the bat. Just collect as much uh, dry grass as you can um, and get it stored up. All right. Let's uh, go take a look at the kitchen. All right. Kitchen was one of the earlier builds that we did um, just to kind of get us out of the hidey hole. We lived in here for a while. Um, still not quite completed yet, but I've gotten, I'm starting to get some of the items out of here um, so I can put it to a finishing touch. But we put in this fireplace and just moved it up just to kind of give it from the back here the look um, that smoke was going up. And if you'll remember, we put one of the chimney smokers out on top so that we always have smoke coming up out of it. But um, this is where we've been putting a lot of our food items at, just keeping our honey, our milk. Um, empty containers uh, for our food. Uh, we've been keeping that all in here so that uh, um, when we're going to do our cooking and prepping we've got it all at, at our fingertips. This is where we also have our corn for making our bread uh, and our grain and a little area back here for water and a fireplace pit. We wanted to put that here because we wanted to keep things close to where our pantry was going to be. And so this is where the first pantry was put in at. And this is where we've been storing the early meals that we had done. And I'm going to go ahead. I'm hungry, so I'm going to eat a piece of bread. Um, uh, so we've been using this. You know, This is where we've kept most of our, our groceries at. And now that we're pickling vegetables, I've got the pickled vegetables in here as well. But here's all the vegetables that we haven't done anything with. Um, and then all the grains that we've been storing up as well. Not only for ourselves, but for our animals. Then we put in an area over here for uh, firing our clay pits, uh, firing our clay molds um, and bricks. You see I've still got some bricks in here that are waiting to be fired up and a little storage area for keeping those resources handy. And then we added on these two rooms not too long ago. This is a second pantry that we put in our cellar um, and we've been starting to put some food into here. Um, we're also going to have an area here for being able to store our cheese and uh, once we start getting it done, which, oh, by the way, over in this area, we put our pickling area. And this is where we're working on uh, where we did our vegetables. Um, our meats are in here and they're almost done. Uh, we pickled our vegetables and we do have curdled milk done. So uh, we'll be able to start working on the cheese. Uh, I just got to make sure I've got enough of the uh, uh, linen for that. All right. Then we put a residence area up on top of here. 
And this is where our primary home is going to be. And I'm lacking furniture in here right now. I've got to go and get some furniture made and found. But we do have an area up here for our bedroom. Nice little window looking out over the rest of our garden area and our bees. Which we'll go take a look at uh, in the morning. Alright, I'll be back. Alright, not quite sunrise yet. Uh, but I wanted to go ahead and show the balcony out here. Um, I did take the roof um, and kind of angled it out so it comes up and then goes out a level each time. So it makes kind of a pointed overhang. This is nice so that if you want to come out here while it's raining, um, you can. And the next, the other nice thing about it is if you can hear, there are a lot of drifters that get up on top of this hill at night because it's not lit up. And... Uh, if I didn't have this over here, they may be dropping off the roof and down onto my onto my uh, porch. And I don't want that. So, kind of a nice little addendum to the base. Uh, but you can see, you know, we started getting lights put up around. We started having uh, specialized trees put into different places uh, as part of our decoration for the rest of the base. So I'm going to wait for the sun to come the rest of the way up and then we'll go take a look at the gardens. All right. I was hearing some guys out here. Okay, let's run around over here. So we got this nice little path that comes by um, and takes us over to our greenhouses. We have not put anything in these greenhouses yet. Come here, you. There you go. We haven't put anything into the greenhouses yet, but there's three greenhouses here. Um, each one has its own entrance in, but they all share a common porch uh, coming into them. So that's our greenhouses. And then over here is where we've had our bees at. And uh, our beehives, I think, are probably... Yeah, they're still empty. So when you get in the wintertime, I think that they slow down and they're swarming. So that's why I wanted to get one last harvest in. But there's our bees. Um, quite a few beehives in here, and I've actually thought about maybe putting a few more in here. We'll see what we want, if we need to or not. Um, but then over here, we have our gardens. And these gardens are set up for a rotation so that we can move through the different crops, the N, the P, the K. And then I usually like to have five, and I got one more I need to put in. Um, nice little winter project, um, or maybe early spring. But we do have pathways over here. And like I said, these are just your normal normal gardens that are set up with water spots in them so that they can uh, keep everything hydrated. Um, of course, you know, right now in winter, everything's frozen up. But once spring comes around, we'll be able to plant over here again. And uh, as I'm going out, I need to finish doing this, gathering up some more berries and putting them along the edge so that we have our fruit close by. But yep, there's four of these. We have two over there, two over here, and we're going to put in one more uh, back over on this side. So we have all five. And that way we can have, you know, one planted in the end crops, one in the P, one in the K, and then have one that's sitting fallow, and then have another one that is receiving um, the nutrients and uh, the fertilizers. Speaking of, this is the garden shed. Um, this is where we keep our seeds at. Um, this is where we keep our uh, amendments to our soil, uh, where we make our compost, uh, where we keep our dirt and our peat um, for when we're not, you know, when we're uh, needing it. So uh, the idea I go with on my base builds is I like having a lot of buildings um, to have it nice and kind of spread out. And I like having um, buildings that have a purpose behind them. So this one being the garden shed, this is where we keep all of our plants. This is where we keep everything related to the garden um, all in one spot. So, And keeping it close to the garden area so that way when we need it, we can grab it. Uh, this area is going to be another building. It's going to be similar to this, but it's not going to be attached to the hill in any way. It's just going to be kind of sitting out here, but this is where we've been working on our hides uh, making our and doing our leather working. So uh, earlier we talked a little bit here about the factory. This is going to be our manufacturing center, our factory, and the, the outside blue uh, footprint of it is done. Um, we just need to keep doing some work down here underneath. Um, area where we're going to have windmills that are churning things. We've got a water wheel on the side. 
um, that we'll be able to hook up to our power and keep a lot of health hammers going simultaneously. And then also put the crushers in here also, the pulverizers. So we're making this because this little area over here is not bad. This is our blacksmith shop. And this is where we do a lot of our work right now. It does have mechanical power to it. Um, but this is also where we keep a lot of our uh, items that we need for, say, charcoal. Uh, if I get down here, yep. So our charcoal pits down here. Nice big charcoal room uh, where we can keep our charcoal at. And then a spot over here for all our different metals and ores and uh, quartz and whatever we might need. And then all of our molds um, that we need are also kind of stored over here. So this is kind of a, an area to go into and set and work on projects, especially at night. Uh, got our forges set up and we can pour ingots, store our metals. And then the bulk of our storage area uh, where we keep a majority of our items are in the warehouse. Um, in the warehouse, I've got the first floor done. Uh, we're just working on the roof now. Again, clay is a, is a big issue that I need right now. Um, but uh, we've got a storage area back here for the clays, um, reeds, and things like that. We've got a staircase that's going to take us up to the second floor, uh, which will have some storage areas up here as well. We are using different mods, and so the better crates is something that we're using, which allows us to store uh, bulk items um, in, of a single type in, in, a, in a crate. Um, so we've got that set up, and then you know we've just got chests set up with signs on it to divide up where everything's going to be at. And then back around over here is where the where the um, museum is going and so the museum is going to be kind of a, an area to show off our trophies um, little tokens and reminders of things that we've done um, throughout our gameplay um, so that's what this is set up for and this spot right here signifies where we're going to put our most majestic piece um, and I haven't mentioned what that is yet I'm still working on trying to get it all put together uh, and I'm keeping it secret but anyways, that's going to go right there so we can see it when we come in. Um, and then just little areas set up to store items onto, um, to put things on display. Um, you know, we'll have some display cases. We'll have some armor stands. Like I said, we're bringing all the armor down in here to, to kind of line up along this bottom edge here. And we'll have some additional pieces out in the, in the middle there. So that is the base so far. Uh, so through 50 episodes, uh, we can kind of see what we've accomplished and what we've put our emphasis onto. There's still a lot of projects that need to be done. There's a lot of changes. You know, we've done some contouring of this hill um, to make it kind of stand out. We've been putting in a few plants here and there to kind of give uh, a semblance of life and order to our base. Um, putting in pathways to kind of help us move around and get to different parts of it. So... I like it. I love the way the base is coming along, uh, and I'm looking forward to getting the rest of it done. Okay, folks, sorry about this kind of episode. I wish uh, uh, I had better news on the um, mod front for Workbench, uh, Workbench Expansion. I am going to be converting over to version 116 as soon as a stable version is done. Um, I don't want to go through and do um, all of these by hand. Uh, so I'm going to see if there's an alternate, something else that I can do to kind of get these done. Whether that means, you know, revert to a previous episode, a uh, previous version of the game and then do it. I don't know. We'll see. I don't want to mess too much stuff up, but I would like to get that done. Okay, folks. Hey, this has been uh, episode 50 of our Let's Play series. This is Shino. Thanks for spending this time with me. Uh, thank you for 50 episodes, and we'll talk to you next time. Take care.